You silly boy. So silly. You want to go through the grass? Let's go through the grass, not the ice. Hang on, I got to cover my hand. Okay, one hand covered. The other one can't be covered. It's got to hold the camera and the pup. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Where's that rabbit today? Where's that rabbit? I think you finally figured out not to be hanging out this time of day out here. He's used to Porter's other time of day. Yeah, see, nothing's quite gone as scheduled. <laughs> That's the fun of having me show up. There are two of these days left, and then it gets really cold. The winter solstice, in fact, heralds in our first deep freeze. Oh, we will be down to negative. 11 or negative 14 or I don't remember Okay, I have literally been so busy. I have had zero zero time to do Anything but take the videos. That's it. I can't download them. I can't edit them
running late. Should have been gone already. Should be there by now. Okay. The swelling is down. Once again, my beautiful, beautiful little body. This is the sad part of my visit. <laughs> We've been cuddled and now I have to go. <laughs> oh, sweet boy. So in my own little feeble old woman way, I kind of sort of feel like the character that Kevin Costner, that's his real name, can't remember his character's name other than Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dunham. It's been so long since I've seen Dances with Wolves, you know, since it got stolen. My very first experience for anyone who has not been following videos since I left Texas to come to Colorado. Uh, first six months of my move, I was in Cripple Creek for the simple fact that I was ignorant of anything Colorado um, other than, you know, places I'd visited. So I got a six month lease. I was stuck with it and it was in Cripple Creek which for the temporary situation was perfect, or at least I thought so. <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, in an attempt to give a donation, you know, to the mining folk that the thrift store supported through sales, I didn't have time to sort, and it wasn't Christmas yet, and they didn't have space. Out on the floor for Christmas because it was still Thanksgiving so anyway I left totes there and in complete ignorance because the one person who knew anything about it didn't have the common sense to write a note they opened all my totes and they put everything that I had for every single piece of my Christmas Christmas past Christmas memory Christmas worthy of being transported across state lines multiple times. Yep, they put it out on the floor and it included my DVD collection. All of my, yeah, you know, winter bath and clothes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, things that I wouldn't need until Christmas, I thought. Yes, there's a little dog out here learning a bit. You get down from there right now. Get down. Get down. Get down. 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 I said, down, Euclid. I know you're not used to listening to anyone, but you will listen to me. Get down. Down. Right now. Down. You got up there, you can get down. Down. So anyway, back, was it Lieutenant Dan? No, that was Forrest Gump. Anyway. John Dunham. So yes, 
The Grinch Stole Christmas. My very first, yeah, that was my, my very first Christmas in Colorado. The Grinch Stole Christmas. Now, fortunately, they didn't like everything. So, as soon as the person who knew what was going on, and yes, it was a personal emergency. So, I understand not thinking clearly. You know, uh, death in the family. So common around Christmas. Uh, anyway, so... I wasn't angry. I was heartbroken. And every Christmas, there's still that little bit of me because I miss the certain things because I had seriously gotten them specifically to put in my little cabin in Colorado. I just, you know, the Christmas tree skirt and my stocking that would hang by the chimney with care. You know, they were cabin themed and just adorable, and this was way, I mean, I was living in Georgia. I had given up my Colorado dream. I was just, once again, in survival mode, trying to figure out how the heck I was ever gonna have the life that I wanted for myself. And seven years later, this is the first pair of moccasin boots I've owned since I left Texas. And no, they're not the Minnetonka that I was familiar with because, you know, those things just got so, and granted, yeah, they're worth it. But I had to settle with Bear Paw. But, uh, well, settle. I don't think I'm settling. I am very impressed with their winter boots. Very, very impressed. I think they are worth it. I mean, I was spending $100 on a pair of boots just to get real leather back in Texas. This is suede, faux fur, yeah. But from what I've heard, that's actually a better option because wool pulls, more; it wicks moisture. So it dries out the skin on my feet and mm, the skin on my feet is dry enough. So anyway. Trying to put my still sore ankle into this boot reminded me of, you know, the opening scene where he's like, you're not taking my foot. You're not taking my foot. And he's like, I don't care what I have to suffer through. I'm keeping my foot. And he put his boot back on. Or the dead person's boot. Hey, 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 Euclid, Euclid. Respect the boundaries. Do you think I put those boxes there for a little Christmas maze for you? Do you think that? Those aren't there for you. Those aren't there for you. Where are your toys? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Go get that toy. Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, my puppies are telling me I need to get back to work. Plus, I still have, oh yes, dogs are coming. And from the looks of it, they're all going to show up at exactly the same time. So, it's reminding me of my vet clinic days. Uh, <laughs> and Dr. Sharp would never allow our clinic to look like this. Oh, no, no. Heads would roll. Heads would roll. Somebody would be getting fired. And fortunately, the only person who can fire me is me. So, there you go. I'm going to throw a toy, and then start cleaning. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, the snow is coming. The entire video didn't get recorded because once again, the red dot didn't turn black. So I'm back to being totally excited. You see how that's the wind blowing. Now see, in Texas, that's what the rain looks like. Yes, it blows little waves down the roads. I've seen it with my own two eyes multiple times all throughout my life. But up here in Colorado, but there's snow blowing across and making waves. Snow! 
children outside playing at recess. I don't know if there'll be another one, but I just went through three little snow cyclones instead of, you know, little dust devils. Well, I'm sure there was dust mixed in it too. And of course now, no, not going to happen, but a little, a little gust of wind blew through and stirred up three little, three little snow tornadoes. Just a little after 4 p.m. And I had to switch over to all my brown stuff out of my black winter solstice because the wind. Oh, the wind. But that's the wonderful thing about brown. It is a crossover color from fall through winter and even the first few months of spring. The human in me feels sorry for all the little deer unless they have see that's the thing I want to build those little shelters that you know I see for horses and cows but I want them for the wild things for the deer I want the deer to have little nativity stables out on my property that they can Go get warm in. That's what I want. <laughs>